So it's super foggy this morning, but I want you to see what we woke up to. Tinkerbell. I have no idea how long she's been out here. My guess is that after the sun came up. What are you doing? Is this where you live? Is mom just gonna leave you here until she brings your friends? Are you in heat? Yes. It's not okay to escape. Not safe out here. Actually, you're probably super safe because you were with the dog. She was in the pen last night when it got dark, so I'm guessing that this came early this morning and there's water and, and, and food out here. You can see this is little Tinkerbell poops. So we are doing great. Okay, you, are you gonna come with me or are you gonna stay there? Hmm, are you gonna come with mom? No, okay. She actually broke out of her stall the first day. Uh, so that was super frustrating. I put her in there, had her all ready to go, and probably let Cece out, and she freaked out. And she made herself a hole. So she was in there most of the day. If I could have gotten a good 48 hours, I would have been happier. Her poop changed overnight. So I wormed her, and somebody was talking about doing more with a worm wormer, which is what we're doing and her poop changed pretty much instantly, which to me said for her that we really were on the edge of really getting into recovery with the parasite. And that day in the pen with the double wormers was enough to get her in the right direction. That's gross. I'm not gonna show you, because it's, it's gross. It's a mouse butt and leg. That's all, cats. That's what they're supposed to do. Really pleased, poop is pretty much totally back to normal. I'm still giving her probiotics, that red cell supplement, just to really help her immune system and her gut, rebuild all the things that she needs. Hopefully, if we can maintain this, we can get her healthy and ready to do our Guinness stuff. We haven't even been able to start with that because she's just been so sick. So hopefully on her way to recovery. So this is in heat and this is in heat. So both need to be bred with Luke. So we'll probably start with Bunny and then Pixie this morning. We're also gonna go out and rebuild the crowd today and I am gonna try to take the camera so you guys can see that. Cause I haven't taken you out there yet. I also have to go get feed today. I'm basically out, but we're gonna scrape together. I'm just gonna feed them pellets cause I have pellets and leave a little bit of grain I have left for the boys and the pigs. Let's get them fed. Gotta get my camera set up in the next week or two. We are two, three weeks from goat babies. I think three weeks. I'm gonna get my camera and stuff set up. I need to go get another bale of straw. Hi, baby. Good morning. Yeah, let's go. Uh, so it sounds like Nani is also in heat. All three of these girls need to be serviced by Luke, which I talked about how that might not be work. So Nani and Bunny have to be serviced by Luke. So we'll do them first, and then hopefully Pixie be able to get her in too. I mean, like guys. And Poppy, apparently. <laughs> All Luke. I don't think four is practical. Also, having four due on the same day is not practical. I need like two at the most. They won't 
they won't hit on the same day. Nani always tends to go about a week longer. We'll go ahead and move them into the backyard and I'll kind of take one by one over with Luke and we'll kind of see how that goes. Poppy has to be bred to Luke because Bean is her dad. There's that. Pixie's the only one that we could breed to Bean and we may just need to do that if I want to breed all four of them today. The reality is I shouldn't breed all four of them today because I can't. I don't have stalls for four girls to all have babies at the same time. This one's not getting bred, much to her dismay. We'll give her a little to eat. Are you hungry? Would you like some food? Here you go. Yeah. So, we'll get them fed, get the girls moved over, get the boys separated, see how it goes. Did you guys have a girlfriend come visit? Did you have her come visit? I think today's the last day. I'm gonna move them over here into the backyard. And then I think Sunday or Monday or sometime during the week, I'm gonna take all this fence down. Get it put up for the year. The grass is just starting to turn yellow. So there's no real reason to have them out here. Also not entirely sure how Tink got out. The block must be not pushed up enough. My goodness, frustrated ladies. See if we can get Luke separated from Bino. Hopefully this won't be too much of a challenge. She's standing here. Come here Luke. He doesn't really like me the way that Bean does. If we can just push him through. Go that way buddy. Go. Go. Good job. Easy enough. All right mom will bring you a girlfriend. Yeah. Go see which lady we can scrounge up. I think several of these guys were starting being heat yesterday. I didn't get home until after dark. So it was Friday and there were fun things to do on a Friday afternoon. This will be good if we can get a couple bred this weekend. So obviously none of this group. Let's see if we can get Nani or Bunny. See this flagging that's happening. All right, Bunners, come on. Let's go see Luke. We're gonna go right over here. Bunny's always a little shyer. She's not wanting to stand for him. But he's already mounted her successfully once. So we'll see if they warm up. She may not quite be in standing heat yet. She's not real interested. He's obviously really interested. We'll give them some time, see if she settles in and decides to like him. If she doesn't, then she's probably not quite in standing heat yet. Usually they don't, but this is pretty normal. CC is one to just go with it. If not, we'll leave her in for a little bit, see how it goes. We'll rotate one of the other girls that seems like they're in heat in and see how that goes. And sometimes girls like their privacy, so if you're standing there, they won't be interested, but like when you walk away, they kind of settle down. It usually takes some time with some of my girls where some of them like it's pretty instant and it's not a big deal. He's already successfully mounted her, so we'll see. She's not real happy about being in there. <laughs> Hunting that green grass. It's funny to me that they bowed. This one's not tied as, tied as well. So they've bowed this fence out. Mm -hmm. 
every bit of green. And these guys, of course, stick their head through and eat it. Yes, my fluffy boys. Dude, the dog's staying on top of the hay bale barking at everything this morning. Okay, here's, here's date number two. Already had pretty successful interaction. She's a little bit more into it than Bunny was. You may have to look at Bunny tomorrow. He may just now be going into heat. This one definitely. Padme, which is a bean, Poppy, and Pixie. I cannot breed them all today because I do not have stalls to deal with everybody having babies at the same time. She needs to be bred to bean. So we may try her. So she's letting him out. We'll leave her in for an hour or so, come back and probably give him a break and swap him out for Bean and maybe put Padme in. Let Bean have a go at her. And then both Pixie and Poppy would have to be bred to Luke. And I think asking him to service five girls in the same day probably is a little bit too much. This looks more, a lot more promising than Bunny. So Bunny may need to go again tomorrow. It may have been her standing heat was yesterday and I just missed it, which is fine. Again, I don't need five goats pregnant all in the same day. So I ended up putting Padme in as well with Bean because Luke is her dad. So mm -hmm, no incest here. You can line breed. That's a whole discussion. You typically would not breed a daughter back to her father or to a sibling. But I think like grandpas and uncles are okay. Not my thing. That's why we have two bucks. Two different bloodlines. And once we're ready to start third generation, these guys will be old. Jeremy was asking me that the other day when I planned to get rid of someone. Were we gonna retire girls? And I think for the most part, I think that by the time I'm 40 and these guys are aging out, I'll probably be ready to be done breeding at the rate that I'm breeding. And I might keep one or two to breed, but I'll probably just let them be geriatric. <laughs> I decided that three girls in one day is probably enough. Probably one of them won't take, just odds are. Probably will be Bunny. She's been in stronger heat this evening, so if she's in stronger heat tomorrow, we'll take her on another date with Luke, just to be totally sure. Versus Nani and Padme absolutely were in standing heat, no problem. So that gives me four girls that are due within a week of each other. They'll probably hit across two weeks. Cece is usually pretty close to her due date. Nani usually goes a week. She's four to five days over. Bunny's usually pretty close to her due date. We won't know with Padme. So hopefully they'll be spread out enough. Two stalls will get everybody going. Bunny and Nani have actually shared a kidding stall before <laughs> due to some flooding rain, some very cold weather, or maybe it was snow. That was, it was a couple years ago, pre-YouTube. Bean was excited, he got to have a turn. I smell delicious, let me tell you. He's been wild. But, four down, four to go. I can't believe that I'm gonna try to breed eight goats. Can you stop? Ow! 
I did end up being the last day that we moved the girls over here. I'm gonna start disassembling this fence and move them. Our bull also got out today. Um, <laughs> got out. Bean just body slammed Luke into the fence. So from experience, the best way to do this is to rope them and use the rope as a lead to get them back in. Welcome to rut. They get out. It's what they do. They're pain in the rear to put back in. And it's because they're just fighting all the time. I should just jump the fence. That would have been smarter because there's so many of them in heat. This is It's dark outside. Yeah, if you want to know a desperate farmer, that was me with those boys. I could not get them back up. I ended up using Nani to get them back in, and they just kept escaping. Um, I couldn't get her back. Over here, it just turned into a whole mess, and they ended up hurting me in the process. I had to call Jeremy to help me, and by that time, I was like in tears and completely defeated. So, sorry that you don't get a typical end to this video. That's what happened, and then we had to make a feed run and that was kind of a fiasco and our trailer lights didn't work so it's just kind of a crazy day on the whole and sometimes girls like their privacy frustrated ladies there's that mm -hmm. no incest here not my thing let them be geriatric i smell delicious butt and leg that's all <laughs>